Hi friends and welcome to this episode of Beth's Best. Today we are at Yak and Yeti restaurant at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. Let's check it out. Your home for room tours, guides, and reviews. New videos posted the first Friday of every month, so hit subscribe and the bell. Pretty good. I mean, for park food, this isn't something that you're going to get anywhere else. 
so I would absolutely get this one again and I totally understand why it's a favorite here at Yak and Yeti restaurant. The second entree that we got is the roasted cauliflower entree, which is intended as a vegetarian option here on the menu. So it's roasted cauliflower obviously with Korean spice and like a sriracha aioli and then it comes on the side with like a mixed rice uh, with peas and, that, and a little bit of quinoa and, and things like that. The cauliflower is good. It's definitely a nice change from what you're going to find is like standard park fare. The rice is totally fine. The cauliflower is a little bit al dente um, for probably most people's taste. And it's the sriracha aioli is the same one that we saw with the uh, firecracker shrimp and also what's been used in my nachos as well. So that's if you don't like sriracha or spicy aiolis, then you're going to kind of have a hard time here because a lot of the items they seem to use over and over again. But overall, you know, decent heart food if you're at Animal Kingdom. I can see why you definitely would want to eat here. Okay, so we've just finished our lunch at Yak and Yeti restaurant. Of course, this is a pan-Asian style restaurant, so if you're looking for something that is a bit unusual, not something you're going to typically find in a theme park, this might fit the bill for you. Overall, we thought the food was okay, like upper end kind of chain food. Um, nothing to really like blow your mind, but not bad either. And it's only one credit on the table service dining plan for the Disney dining plan. My recommendation would be if you want to try this restaurant, the, the atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. It's very immersive. There's kind of Himalayan, if that's the right category, um, kind of soothing music playing in the background. And it's just absolutely chock full of all kinds of little details that make you feel like you are in the Himalayas, which is great. And that in alone is probably a good reason to eat there if you've never tried it before. But if you are talking strictly for food and value, I would recommend instead Tusker House here in the Africa area of the park instead. If it was my credit, if it was my money, that's what I would pick. And instead I would go to Yak and Yeti and stop at the bar. They do have a bar there um, that you can get a drink, you can get appetizers, you can get a full meal. So if you just want to pop in and get something to try it, just to see if it's something that you like, that might be a good option for you. But what do you guys think? I mean, did you like Yak and Yeti? Do you not like Yak and Yeti? Did I get it wrong? Did I get it right? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Now, do you guys like these dining reviews? Because if you do, please hit the like button or type the word helpful below in the comments. That way I know this was helpful to you and that you want me to do more of them. Give me some feedback, guys. I appreciate it. Now, our next episode, we are going to Disney's Swan Resort, the Disney Swan and Dolphin over at the Boardwalk area. We're staying at the Swan this time. I've previously stayed at the Dolphin. I will link that video above if that's something you're interested in. But we're heading to Swan next, so hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. That way you'll be notified as soon as I drop a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.